On YouTube, you can find all kinds of people doing the most dangerous shit imaginable. Slapping raw meat on their body and swimming in the ocean open waters. Taking bug bites and stings from poisonous creatures just to feel the pain and rate it on a scale. Jumping out of planes and waiting to parachute to the last possible second. Giving a hot take about some type of drama going online. You can find people doing absolutely death-defying stunts and shit. But above all of this sits the most dangerous niche of content on the platform. Backyard wrestling. There are so many channels that I've found that have like less than 100 subscribers that are doing these backyard wrestling events where they are just beating the shit out of each other for real. Now, of course, everyone knows that, you know, WWE, AEW, it's sports entertainment. It is wrestling entertainment. The outcomes are predetermined. The moves are choreographed. But that doesn't discredit the athleticism required or how brutal the stunts are for the human body. So those are professional athletes doing it. And even they are breaking their necks, breaking bones, concussions frequently. So you take that kind of activity and bring it to people that can't even spell their own name. And you get a fucking disaster. For anyone that grew up in the 90s, you probably remember just how crazy backyard wrestling was. You had extreme backyard wrestling like the CZW, which I believe stood for Combat Zone Wrestling, where they were taking real barbed wire bats and just actually annihilating each other with them. I watched one where a guy took a weed whacker to someone's stomach and split his stomach open. Like, you know, breaking beer bottles on each other's heads. Backyard wrestling was about as wild and wacky as it could get. And while it's not as popular now as it was back then, it still is a pretty popular niche on YouTube in terms of how many backyard wrestling organizations there are. And I'm using the term organizations lightly because these aren't like official entities or anything like that. It's like three brothers and one of their friends who set up a kiddie pool in their backyard and start hitting each other with mailboxes and call it the fucking South Alabama Home for Badassery Wrestling Federation or something like that. But there's so many of them that do that, and they do it for real. They actually just start brutalizing each other. It goes insano style. And there's one channel in particular I want to talk about and show today. A channel where the wrestlers are, without exaggeration, risking their lives for YouTube views and wrestling fame. To die in the ring and be sent straight to the wrestling Valhalla. It's called P.O.R. Wrestling. Profits of Regret, I believe is what it stands for. Maybe it stands for probably overdosed right now wrestling. Actually, if that was it, it would actually be porn. I didn't even plan that, but what a beautiful coincidence. But the thing is, these wrestlers are risking everything. All to an audience of 7,000 subscribers they've built up over the course of, I believe, five years. So they're getting roughly a thousand subscribers and some change per year for this level of danger it seems not worth it if you ask me but they just fucking love it it's an extreme sport uh, extreme entertainment sport activity uh, they call it por stunts and they got into wrestling and i'd like to show you the clip that i found initially from them that blew me away and actually scared me i still think about it from time to time it's lit on fire Ladies and oh gentlemen, my God, what is this? Ah, oh, oh crap! He just blasted the wizard! Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of it, ah, ladies and gentlemen. What, what holy shit! Holy shit! Holy holy shit. shit. Oh, my oh, god. god! Oh my god! Holy out of nowhere, a car just slammed into Jamal the wizard! Oh, holy crap, Jamal is here! Yeah, this dude just gets absolutely blasted by a speeding vehicle going 20 plus miles per hour. And there's no smoke and mirrors here. The man just actually takes a full-blown hit from a vehicle. Now, of course, the guy in front, the one that hit him with the flaming bamboo stick, he wanted no part of it. So you can see him try and, like, pretend like he got hit. So he, like, jumps out of the way and, like, flops on the floor like a fish. I think what was supposed to happen is they both get hit by the car. But at the last second, this guy's like, this dude just put a brick on the accelerator. I'm getting nowhere near it. So he gets out of the way and jumps. But the other guy commits to it. He's like, you know what? If I'm going out, I'm going out doing what I love. So he takes a full hit from a car. No safety equipment or anything. Now, of course, him getting hit with the flaming bamboo stick wasn't real. He didn't, like, fully hit him with it or anything like that. But all of the blood on his face is, because the match prior to this was using sharp objects and shit. So it's about as real as it can get while still being, like, loosely rehearsed. 
but I'm pretty sure him taking a direct hit from a fucking time-traveling DeLorean going 88 miles per hour was probably done on the first take here without any prior rehearsal for it. He probably just signed up on a whim saying, eh, fuck it, yeah, you can hit me with a car, that's fine, after he just finished butt-chugging five moonshines in his bathtub. And, you know, they did it live. They really did go for it and pulled it off. Oh my god, James, this is the craziest thing I've seen in wrestling. Is he even alive? Oh my god. Oh my god. Look who it is. We should have freaking known. JJ Escobar just ran Jamal over with a car. What the hell is he doing in here? What in the world? I know Jamal and JJ. Look at the carnage. They show a replay on the Jumbotron, but I'm not going to show that. Uh, it is a very real hit that he takes. I'm pretty sure he was okay based on what I've read. However, he did not return to POR wrestling from what I've seen. His name was Jamal the Wizard, and I think he retired after this. Whether or not that was by his own choice or highly recommended by his doctors. I don't think he is still competing. I haven't seen him return. And from what I've read, he was okay from this incident, but just didn't want to continue in the league. Which I think is understandable. When you take a hit from a car like this, for what is 11,000 views on YouTube, whatever this was, it's probably one of those things where you have to weigh the pros and cons. Like, is it worth it? Maybe not. Let's go, Sice. Let's fucking go, baby! Yep, this is another very real stunt involving a speeding vehicle. This one looks like it's pushing like fucking 40, 50 miles per hour here. This bad boy was zooming, and it blasts through a camper and crashes into like a garage in the back or something. It, it looks like a scene out of the Dukes of Hazard. The danger in this one was astronomical, not only for the wrestlers, but everyone even around the vicinity. All the spectators could have just died. Like, there were so many ways that people could have been hurt here, I don't even know where I'd start with naming them. It could have shot glass and debris at the crowd, which I'm sure it did, but they're just, they don't care. You know, they're probably so fucking drunk they didn't even feel it. You know, hey, Grandpappy, you got a piece of that window lodged in your oblique, you alright? He's like, yeah, I don't feel it, it's fine. Let's see what's happening over here with the wrestlers. He might get a three count on this pin. And, and speaking of the wrestlers, the dude hits him with like this crazy atomic power bomb through two tables and 12 light tubes. And I believe those are real light tubes. They're not using sugar glass or anything like that. As far as I know, they're using like actual light tube fluorescent lights. So the little glass there. And it knocks the guy out. He ends up unconscious and bleeding. And he does get the three count, not to spoil the ending. So the guy with the mask wins. But it feels like everywhere that guy goes, it's like the GTA 5 Chaos mod where cars are just shooting all over the place. It's fucking crazy. Another extremely dangerous stunt for so little views on YouTube. It just really feels like it's, it's not worth that risk. But even as of today, they are still going and the danger is still there. They posted three weeks ago as of the time of me making this video. And they are still just as fucking extreme as ever from what I've been able to tell. It's wild. They do not let up. They have a passion for danger, and my god, nothing's gonna stop them from it. I still can't even believe the level of stunts that they do here, because it's, again, it's not just like a life or death situation for the people involved in the actual, you know, extreme entertainment showcase. It's anyone around them. That car could have absolutely, uh, while speeding at the camper, Taking a bad swerve by hitting like a like a slick in the mud there, or hitting something and swerving into the crowd and just hitting them like bowling pins. There's just so much that could have went wrong there. And they just said, fuck it, let it ride anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to briefly talk about this because I started thinking about backyard wrestling again. Because, I mean, growing up I used to be a fan of it, I used to watch a lot of it. I even had the old Xbox game, Backyard Wrestling, it was fun. And... Somehow it's still around and probably more extreme now than ever, maybe. I don't know, it's kind of a bold claim to make, but it, it is wild and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Uh, that's about it. See ya.